There's nobody who's going to pray and their prayers fall down on the ground. Yes. There's nobody who's going to pray and invest their time in prayer and never have answers. Amen. Answers might not come the time you want, but definitely answers will be there. So I want to just to give you some prophetic things that the Lord has laid in my heart as we were speaking to him here. There are two things that I want to just to remind you about prophetically. One is that we have to pray on three levels as we are praying these prayers. Number one, you're praying for your location where you stay. Number two, you're praying for your city. Number three, you're praying for your nation. These three, actually, even your 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 your, your, your state or your province, whatever you may call it. But these three are uh, these four are actually the wine skins that will house everything that you are praying for. Amen. You cannot have the kind of answers, the kind of fruits, the kind of progress you desire to have if the wine skin called your city is in a mess. Amen. You have to lift up your prayers. There is a demand that God is putting upon us to begin to lift up our prayers in a manner that we pray for this city. We have to ensure that with these 10 days that we're having, we must raise prayers for our city. We must raise prayers for our nation. We must raise prayers for this location. Because where you are staying, where you are staying, there are a number of things that are going on, positive and negative. And one of the things that the Lord spoke to me about is that if you remember what happened in the city of Sodom and Gomorrah, the Bible tells us about the activities that were going on in that city. But one of the things that you need to understand is that even when the Lord has taken out the family of Lot out of Sodom, the place they landed or the place where they ended up staying, which was in the mountains, they practiced the life of Sodom with their father. I want to repeat that again. The two daughters of Lot, when they were taken out of Sodom with their father, when they landed up in the mountain and stayed in the caves, they practiced the life of Sodom. They were no longer in Sodom, but they were living the life of Sodom where they are. It's very important, ladies and gentlemen, that one of the things that you need to go through is the deliverance from the spirit of the city and the spirit of the place where you stay. You might not literally be in the place geographically, but the activities of the things that were going on there, you might find that they've attached themselves to you. So it doesn't matter whether you change the geographical location or not, where you end up living, you end up manifesting the place where you come from. So we have to, listen to this, we will have to raise up our prayer. I think we'll have to deal with this tomorrow, even in your own spare time. You're going to have to pray that in the fiber or in the making of your very own life, there must never be any attachment from anything that you come from. In other words, if you, the Lord has taken you from the world, when you come in here, you have to leave the world in the world. Yes. I don't know if somebody is hearing me. Because a lot of things that we are seeing in the house of the Lord is the world that we have brought in the house of the Lord. We, we, we physically come in here with the world within us. We physically come in here with Sodom in us. So even though we have been pulled out of Sodom, when we come in here, the next level of your deliverance is to take Sodom out of you. It's to take Babylon out of you. It's to take your village out of you. It's to take the region, the spirit of the region which you come from. The lifestyles of the place which you come from, which are ungodly, must be pulled out of you. You might literally come out of Egypt, but for 40 years, you will always be manifesting the Egypt you come from. So the Lord has to deliver you from the Egypt you once lived in, so that you don't miss its garlic, you don't miss its onions, you don't miss its pork, of me because you are you are you are finally you are finally delivered out of it and it is finally pulled out of you as well you have to pray that god pull out of me every place that i come from pull out of me every kind of thing that might have attached itself in me with with regard to the place that i come from because a lot of us have things in us that are connected with the place which we come from we want to pray listen to me 
We want to pray that even though we are living in this location, even though we are living in this region, the things that are happening around here must not attach themselves to us. The things that are happening in our city, negative things must not attach themselves to us. Amen. That has to be your assignment for tomorrow. Are you following? Amen. That has to be your assignment for tomorrow. Wherever you come from, the Sodom that the Lord has pulled you out of, nothing of Sodom must be found in you, even though you're no longer there physically. Amen. Let me give you another, the last example. We have been told by science that onion, if you cut it in pieces, there is smoke that comes out of it. I'm sure all of you knows about that. Amen. There is what? Smoke that comes out of it that might affect even your eyes, mm -hmm. or you might you might have the smell on your hands for a number of days. Am I right? Mm -hmm. That that is that is that is literally there, right? Mm -hmm. Science taught us this. This is not from the Bible. Science taught us this that actually the smoke that you find in the onion is the sulfur from the soil where the onion was planted. If onion was planted ah, come on, in different no. ground. Mm. It would have not had that smoke that is heavy. Hallelujah. That you could actually eat it like an apple. Mm. It, would, it, would, it, 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 it could actually taste like an apple. You might not literally be where you used wow. to be, but the sulfur of the ground yes. which you have been planted from, which have been you, you have you grown in a particular ground, you might literally be having it right now. Yes. Your next assignment for tomorrow is that the sulfur of my village, the sulfur of my location, the sulfur of my nation must not be found in me. Amen. Amen. I want to repeat that again. Amen. You might no longer be in your hometown, mm. but the sulfur of your hometown is still found in you. Amen. You might no longer be, listen to the two daughters of Lot. They are no longer in Sodom, but if you do a study and study their life with their father in the cave, you will discover that they were actually practicing the things they saw in Sodom. Hallelujah. The sulfur of Sodom was still with them. That's your assignment for tomorrow. Let's leave this one here. That's your assignment for tomorrow. So we will be focusing on that. The sulfur of your ground must not be found in you. Most of you might not know, but recently, if you, you walk in the place that, I don't know if you have it here, but there is a, there is, there is a plant we call Black Jack. I don't know if you know it. Do you know yes. Black Jack? Yeah. Yes. Do you know Black Jack? Yes. Black Jack has seeds in it, right? Yeah. And the seeds of Black Jack are, are small sticks mm. with things that can attach themselves on your clothes. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen that? Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen that? Yeah. If you walk in the area where there's Black Jack and eat seeds, mm -hmm. it's going to attach itself. The seeds will be attached in your clothes mm -hmm. that you can walk kilometers, miles, wherever you will end up, you will have contracted the seeds of black jack of the ground you walk upon. Some of the things that we need to deal with here tomorrow are the things we contracted on the way. I don't know if you're getting that wisdom. There are things tomorrow that we need to deal with in prayer that Lord, deliver me from the things I've contracted on the way. Initially when I started to walk with you, they were not there. Yes. But I have and I have contracted them on the way. There are things that can sit upon you, not literally because you were with them when your jay began, but you caught them on the way. Negative things you caught on the way. Negative behaviors you caught on the way. When you started, you were on fire. When you started, you were in the glory. But along the way, you pick some things. And right now, the seed of what you pick on the way are found attached to your mantle. There is negative attached to your mental that has to be pulled out Amen. and the, 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 the time that we we are going to have tomorrow we are going to deal with that we're going to focus on that to say lord all kinds of things have pulled on the way set me free from them Amen. Amen. the lord bless you Amen. the lord keep you Amen.